Today I'm going to show you what I, how I made a blacksmith forge out of a disc brake. I was looking for a drum brake and it didn't have any but they had this disc brake and it had a nice has a nice drum shape to it and it had these the disc as a ledge and I thought that worked out pretty good actually. First thing you need is you're going to need a I got an inch and a half uh, flange here. This is a galvanized flange. If you get you can get a two inch if you could find one, but that was the biggest one I could find. And I welded that in to the uh, to the bottom. You can also weld it in from the top if you would like. Um, but I welded it on the bottom. And then on the inside of that same flange, I took a square piece of quarter inch steel. I drilled some holes in it. And I welded that in there for the vent for the air to flow through. Also, I, drew, I uh, took some small pieces of 3 8 inch or no some square stock I had I cut it and I welded it in to where the lug nut or the lug holes were from the car to plug them up I drilled uh, 3 8 inch holes three of them on the sides and I made a tool rest that can move and fit into any of those that will help hold up any of the material that happens to be longer uh, you could probably just make them up any size you would like, any shape you would like. On the bottom, what I've done is I took uh, half inch couplings and I ground them so they have a slight angle on them. I don't know if you can tell, but it's slightly angled outward so that the legs kind of splay out. And I put all three of them, I put three of them on here. And then I took uh, three foot half inch pipe four legs and then over here what I ended up using for the air I tried using an air compressor and, and it worked and but the air compressor ran all the time and it really actually wasn't enough airflow but the blow dryer works excellent what I had to do here is I had to use a two inch to one and a half inch reducer and that two inch is perfect that that blow dryer just kind of just jams in there and stays tight one thing I had to do is I had to put a aluminum foil tape over the button that says cool. If you don't do that, the blow dryer actually will kick off because it gets too hot on the inside. And uh, But what I have here, this will thread in the bottom. And down here is where the, any ash that might fall out uh, would, would land. One other thing that I made was a... Uh, this is a cement board, it's a quarter inch cement board, and it fits perfectly on top of this disc brake, and I, and I use this as a snuffer, and I put it over it, and it will, the charcoal will go out, and you can save it for the next day, and this cement board won't get burned up by the heat. So, uh, let me uh, assemble this, and I'll get it burning, and I'll show you how it works. Well, here's the finished product. It's uh, see right here. We got uh, got our chute comes down to hold our ash in the bottom. Comes over to the side with our blow dryer. We we'll turn that off. And it'll calm down a little bit, or we can turn it on. Get it going. But there you go. Got my little cool rest right here. I got a little railroad spike in there. Uh, other than that, it uh, works pretty good. I wish it was maybe a little deeper so it could hold more. But let's see if we got a hot See that? That's a railroad spike. Looking pretty good. And that's my portable. Tried to make it as portable as possible homemade forge.